When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me I know that I am so much better Better off. When I look at what I've done Now that we are apart When I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better off. And baby you don't belong Hey what's up everybody it's me Miss Ebony V Welcome back or to my channel if you are new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell so that you are in the loop when I upload a video. All right, y'all, so today's view is courtesy of Joe Deere. I'd like to give them a big shout out for sending me this unit. This unit is in the style H.T. Kelly. And the description for that is ombre blonde, 28 inches long. Mm -hmm. Small, curly, wavy, synthetic wig. Lace front wig, that is. She comes with 130% density and she can be found on Amazon. Now, y'all know I have reviewed some Joe Deere units before and I always like to point out that they have their own very special color coding that no one else understands but them. So the color for this unit is TTPN4 slash 270A slash 24F. I don't know. Ombre blonde is what you got. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video. Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own Alright y'all, so now that I have finished styling this wig I could easily say that this is This is a very beginner friendly type of wig There is no gluing down of anything I just added some bobby pins I did take a little extra step in adding the Scarway silicone strip However, it's not necessary. You can just go in with some foundation powder. I thought the parting space looked a little dark, so that was my way of brightening it up. All right, so let's talk about some of the things I actually like, the pros. I do like the style. I think the style is very pretty. This is definitely up my alley. I must do a comparison, though, to a unit that I actually like from Bobby Boss. That was the Brazilian Wave 26. It's very, very similar to that. Very, the same curl patterns. It's super long like that one. It's a couple inches longer because that one was only 26 inches and this one is 28. Now, the length could be a pro or a con. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm okay with it, to be honest. Right now, I'm okay with it. However, I do know that this baby is going to tangle because of this super long length. So if you don't want a lot of tangling, you don't want all these inches right here. Another thing I like is the hair texture. The hair is very soft. It's not even um, a super silky feel. Um, it's a nice in-between. I mean, it's a nice, curly, soft-feeling unit. Um, no issues with the texture. Now, I think that might be all of my pros, so I'm going to dive into some of these cons. Now, a con for me, I'm a fan of the ombre blonde, always. However, I'm not a fan of the super dark root like this I wish this was like a four or even a two I don't even think it's a two I mean this is like straight 1b um, so it's super dark I don't think there's a nice transition into the blonde it's just like black blonde It's real harsh to me very very harsh so I'm not a fan of this particular color blend but you know somebody else may not think that's a problem I'm just not a fan Another con is definitely this cap size, y'all. Mm -mm. She is not all hair friendly. This sucker is so tight on my head right now as we speak. And I have a small to medium size head measuring at 21 and a half inches. And this joint is tight. I feel like I'm going to have a headache in about 30 minutes. No lie. I think that was definitely an issue with another Joe Deere unit. So Joe Deere, we could use a little more room in these caps. Because my head is not even that big. And this is snug. It's real snug. 
Now, I did show you that this wig is shiftable. It comes as a middle part. However, you can shift it to the right or to the left. I was going to shift it to the right, but I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately. So, I was like, mm, let me go ahead and keep it in the middle. Because, you know, I'm not a fan of the middle. I'm really not. And I was actually going to cut some more layers. Um, it's actually very layered, y'all. It's nicely layered. That is another pro. I love how layered it is. I do love that. Oh, another pro, y'all, is that I'm really not experiencing a lot of shedding as I thought I would. Like, this is a blonde unit. I just knew I would have hair all over me. And I do not. She is not shed heavy at all, which is a nice pro. All right, so the price point for this unit is $38.99. I will be sure to include the direct link down in the description box below if you are interested. Now, again, in comparison to Bobby Boss Brazilian Wave, that one was, I think, like $45-ish, so only $10 more. However, that one did come with free parting, so you were able to part it anywhere but this one is of course shiftable now with the free parting on the brazilian wave i thought it would allow me the opportunity to do like a up a half up half down style but the unit was lacking so much density that it just wasn't possible it wasn't going to be a good look and i think that this density is actually i initially thought it was really low but <laughs> it's starting to feel more and more full i think when i first took it out of the package i was like oh this is thin but you know it's not it's not too bad it's not too bad at all it doesn't feel heavy either it's very very light so summer friendly she's summer friendly y'all so is it worth it absolutely i think so it's under 40 dollars um a very cute style i wouldn't get it in this color in my personal preference um i would definitely just go with like a natural black or something 1b 2 somewhere in there all right, y'all, so you let me know what you think about this unit here down in the comments below so I can chit-chat with you guys. Thanks again, and a huge shout-out to Joe Deere for sending me this unit. I truly appreciate it. Not only because they sent me this unit, I'm saying this, I am a real Joe Deere fan. I have a few Joe Deere units that I absolutely love. Like, one of my favorites is that straight yakky texture. Bomb, honey. I mean bomb so i'm a joe deer fan i'm not even gonna lie the price is nice the quality of hair is usually very nice now they could probably use some improvements on like i said the cap size and maybe even the hairline because i feel like i had the same problem in a couple other joe deer units that i had but overall i think it's a very nice wig company so highly recommended by me all right, guys, I ain't gonna ramble on no more please make sure you thumbs up this video be sure to subscribe if you are not Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.